Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm starting a new series about the most iconic weapons of World War II. Today, we're exploring one of the most iconic guns of World War II, the PPSH-41, a submachine gun that became a true symbol of Soviet resistance. Let's start with the origins of the PPSH-41, affectionately known as Papasha by Soviet soldiers, was designed by Georgi Spagen in 1941. Amid the fierce German invasion, the Soviet Union needed a weapon that was efficient, quick to produce, and reliable in battle. Georgi Spagen came up with a simple and robust design. Using stamped metal parts, the PPSH-41 could be mass-produced without compromising reliability. This simplicity was key to equipping the Red Army with a powerful weapon in a short amount of time. The mass production of the PPSH-41 was astounding. Over 6 million units were produced during the war, enabling the Soviets to quickly and effectively arm their troops. Each factory worked tirelessly to supply the soldiers fighting on the front lines. The PPSH-41 was distinguished by its 71-round drum magazine, although 35-round box magazines were also used. It fired the 7.62 per 25mm Tokarev cartridge, providing a high rate of fire and considerable power for close combat. Soviet soldiers valued the PPSH-41 not only for its firepower, but for its reliability in the harshest conditions. Its rate of fire, approximately 900 rounds per minute, was ideal for intense urban and trench warfare. The PPSH-41 played a crucial role in many important battles, such as the Battle of Stalingrad. Its presence on the battlefield helped turn the tide of the war in favor of the Soviets. Even enemy soldiers recognized its effectiveness, with many preferring it over their own weapons when they could capture one. Today the PPSH-41 is more than just a weapon. It's a piece of military history and a valuable collector's item. It represents the ingenuity and tenacity of Soviet soldiers during one of the most devastating conflicts in history. The Papasha left an indelible mark on history. A weapon that not only defined an era, but also symbolizes the struggle and resistance of those times. Before finishing the video, here are some curiosities about this weapon. Its affectionate nickname, Papasha, means daddy in Russian. Soviet soldiers gave it this name due to the weapon's reliability and the protection it provided on the battlefield, like a father looking after them. The effectiveness of the PPSH-41 was so notable that even German soldiers used it when they could capture one. It was said they preferred the PPSH-41 over their own submachine guns, such as the MP-40, due to its higher ammunition capacity and rapid rate of fire. During the brutal Battle of Stalingrad, the PPSH-41 became an essential weapon. In some Soviet units, every soldier was equipped with a PPSH-41 due to its effectiveness in close quarters urban combat. This battle was a turning point in the war, and the Papasha played a crucial role in it. The PPSH-41 was specially adapted for the harsh conditions of the Eastern Front. Its simple and sturdy design meant it could withstand extreme cold and battlefield dirt without failing something not all weapons could achieve. A curious fact about the production of the PPSH-41 is that it could be manufactured in just 5.6 hours in Soviet factories, thanks to its stamped metal design. This allowed the Red Army to maintain a constant supply of weapons during the war. The PPSH-41 not only saw action in World War II, but was also used in later conflicts, such as the Korean War and the Vietnam War, its durability and effectiveness kept it in service long after World War II ended. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more historical content. See you next time.